approximately 6.03. Welcome, everybody. Uh, anybody have any questions about the minutes from April 5th? Alright. I'm not hearing any other motion to approve. Okay. Right on time. That's alright. We have new clocks now, so. Uh oh. <laughs> Darn. We're going with it. Doesn't work anymore. Yeah. <laughs> right. I can't believe I was on time. Thank you. So, motion to approve the minutes? Motion to approve. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so moved, and um, I think everybody probably saw an email from Patty saying she wasn't going to make it tonight. She sent us. Yep. So the tonight boards. here are nine warrants for you to sign, mm -hmm. and the total is ninety nine thousand seventy nine dollars and seventy five cents. There are also seven payroll warrants to sign. Please sign all seven sheets individually. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Nice and quick. Any public comment at this point in the meeting? Hearing none. We'll move on. Uh, unfinished business. We don't have any new business. Uh, we have a discussion of increasing the cost of school lunch. Okay, yes. Um, we're we're still waiting for the official notice from Jesse that the paid for the paid lunch equity for the school year 1819 but there's verbal communication from Jesse that it will be two dollars and 92 cents this is just a notice this is a first read we'll vote on it next month but the amount that we receive for free lunch status uh, needs to be at least 292 our paid lunch pricing cannot be lower so right now um, if we do this, then the general fund would have to pay the difference between what we charge and what the, uh, the Dusty is paying for the free lunch. So we're asking for an increase to 295 Okay. And uh, I'm thinking, is that a dime more or five cents more than what we were paying? It's a dime. It's a dime. Yeah. Um, okay. I mean, I, my sense uh, on the agenda is that we're actually going to vote on that tonight. Um, that's, that's the vote. I don't know any reason why we would discuss no. unless somebody wants to. No, it's up to you. Oh, if you want to. It's yeah. right there. I'm sorry. Okay, that's okay. I thought no, no. you were going to do it. That's so fine. the reason we have to do it is because Jesse's going to, uh, their their limit is 292. It should not be lower. So we're going to 295. Do you see the back? I do. Yeah. Oh, the back yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, the first thing there. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. Um, anybody have any concerns about that? Sort of pro forma that we would right, get up in that range. Well, I would certainly round to a nickel as opposed to being in pennies. So yeah. 292 right. to 295 seems reasonable. Right. I mean, if it's okay. state mandated, then yep. by it all is. means. Okay, good. So, uh, anyone want to second Ken's motion to approve the uh, <laughs> increase? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So, yeah. move. Um, and, let's see. Discussion of the non union salary recommendations. Great. So, you all, have, you all have a sheet here in front of you. And,. These are the recommended uh, two uh, two percent increase for um, all of the non-union people, and it mirrors the two percent increase that the union folks receive. So. And that the town. That's right. The town employees well. received as well. <clears throat> yeah. okay. uh, two percent. Do they? I was just curious, do they have steps as well? Yes, they do. some do. Some do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So when you look under the cafeteria folks, they're on steps. Non-union folks, um, you could see that, the, well, I don't know if you could see here, but the custodians are on steps. 
Um, it doesn't look yeah. like stepped the wrong way, right? Well, it does. It says John. It mm -hmm. says the name in step six. Step oh, gotcha, seven, gotcha. Under the name. Yep. Thank you. Yep. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I can't remember the number of steps in the scale. No, and we were looking at that as a committee at the non-union um, policy slash procedure that they're going to look at in the fall, much much closer than uh, what we could do during our mm -hmm. our meetings as the uh, policy committee. And you'll see the principal's not is not on the list because she's already been negotiated. Okay. In her new contract. Um, I'm sorry, the assistant principal or the principal's not? Principal's, principal's not on the list and the assistant principal is fixed because it's... Right. right okay. Yeah. And um, I'm not to complicate this, I apologize if I am, but when we had our joint meeting a few weeks ago, um, there was a whole discussion about um, non-union personal rights. Is that the second page or was that something else? Remember there was I'm a, sorry. Oh, was union, what we talked about. At the about, joint meeting, there was a discussion mm -hmm. about um, that that was sort of tabled, I thought. Right. Okay. So was that, obviously the elementary stuff here for our school is right here on the mm -hmm. first page, right. mm -hmm. front and back, mm -hmm. is that right? Front and back. And then the second page is clearly, I think, given out to us tonight because it's going to be uh, this committee or this town's contribution to all of the central office. Sure increases and I'm just wondering if my memory serves that at the joint meeting there was some issues around this wasn't there, there this was, set? it wasn't about this and I think Mary can help me um, explain it it's about the pop the procedures and the policies we have for the non-union employees the frontier and then there's another one for the union 38 and what we were really looking at was longevity, mm -hmm. and then we were That's looking right. at um, it was longevity. That's right. vacation it was, time, right? Okay, right. Buy, so they buy back. Those were the kinds oh, okay. of things, and then we decided to table it and, and get a committee just that. to focus on it. Oh, right, right. So this so is those with other that. financial issues, right. and the issue was uh, relating it to some of the issues going on with other town employees. That's right. And and their longevity. Whether it should be parity or not. And right. Okay. Right. right. Apologize. That's yep. not, no, 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 okay. Thanks for reminding me. This is stuff that comes across every year. A lot of these people, especially on the second page, um, are actually under contract. Um, they under individual contracts. And then the other ones are non-union employees that get a letter every year. And so. um, are the higher paid ones the ones who you're yeah. saying are on contract? Right. Yeah. And are those contracts, do they include a percentage increase? No, there's three years, three year contracts, but we, they, uh, the district has been, um, and this was before I started, the district has been giving a 2% increase to mirror the 6% um, the over three years that the union folks have, mm -hmm. we mirror it for us, and that's a 2% each year. Yeah. Are so. the contracts decided by, who, who decides the contracts? The school committee hires the superintendent, mm -hmm. the business manager, yeah. and the um, director of special ed. Everyone okay. else is hired by the, by the superintendent. superintendent. Okay. So these uh, contracts were all written by the superintendent as they come up. Right. So last year I wrote a few, this year I wrote a few, I did two mm -hmm. Okay. And um, obviously these, uh, all these numbers are included in the budget that passed town meeting last night. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Was it last night? Oh, two Monday night. Yeah, it seemed oh. like last night. It feels like it. It forever, yeah. yeah. We were yeah. there until almost yesterday, so. <laughs> I yeah. understand. Yeah, these were already included. We put them in when we built the budget. Yeah. Okay. So, do I want to move to approve, or are we not looking at a vote? We should be looking at a vote here. Mm -hmm. I think to be... Uh, oh, I know what the problem that is. That was for the next meeting. I'm not looking at the revised budget. I mean, the revised agenda. Thank you. That's okay. So... <laughs> so, um, we're you looking... I mean, maybe these are discussions for next year, so, that's, so in other words, it's built in to the budget, but we are not voting on them tonight. We're thinking about them and voting them for the next meeting. I thought that's what it said in the cover letter. Okay. Uh, uh, there will be discussion and vote on the school lunch. There will be first read of multiple policies and it did not talk about 
Right. Yeah. But I think in a minute. I only go back to the beginning. It's up to you folks. We didn't pub we didn't uh, publicize it on the agenda, so if you want to wait till next month, that's fine. I don't, I don't see it on the agenda, so well there's a discussion of it on the agenda, clearly. Um, yeah, that was so, on the revised agenda. Okay. Um, I know I was going to well, I'm going by the revised agenda. Okay, so let's uh, let's move on. We're going to have a June meeting anyway. So just so that nobody gets upset on technical grounds. Mm -hmm. um, although nobody seems to be uh, raising any concerns with this. Um, and it was a good budget, well, it was a, yeah, painless and good budget year. So um, anybody have any further discussions about those? No? Okay. Uh, so moving on to all of these um, policies, mm -hmm. probably about 20 additional policies for us to uh, review and um, vote on at our next meeting. Obviously, thank you for all the hard work that folks who are on this committee are doing. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't I believe we got them emailed to us today. Yep. I would wager nobody has Nope. Dive into it, except if you're on the committee. So unless somebody wants to flag some things that were maybe somewhat interesting or controversial in the committee that you want to point us to for our reading pleasure over the next month, um, I don't know that we have much to talk about yet. Right, the right. others came earlier, but and the ones we did yesterday came today, but you had okay. the others earlier. Okay. I don't know if anybody's had a chance to look at them, but... These are the ones we did earlier and then last night's um, came today because we really, yeah. so we're kind of, you know, Deerfield just happened to be the, the so the other agendas don't have them all listed, but we wanted to make sure Deerfield was Had able to time. vote in June and the other school committees will vote in June as well, but we wanted you all to be on the same page. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And there, there was a lot of hard work. The team was Absolutely. Really good. I can tell that. That's a lot of and then you'll see on the list in the agenda, it tells you, like some were just updating language yep. because of the law changes and whatever, and it tells you the purpose of why we did them. Okay. And then some are brand new policies. Some are new. All yeah. listed. Okay. Yeah. Any good controversies? The professional staff yeah. supplementary pay plans, that's a new policy. Any ideas on that? Yeah. That's GCBC, about halfway down the list, professional staff supplementary pay plan. That's a new policy. Why I know alcohol or tobacco or vaping on school property. Oh, thank you. That's a new policy? <laughs> well, the vaping, right? We had right? vaping, though. Yes, we did have vaping. vaping. Oh, it wasn't yep. there. It was not technically smoking? Um, so if you look, GCBC, Professional Staff Supplement Pay Plans, um, certain, it says certain assignments require extra responsibility over time. And what we did was we took out the word will and added the word may. So that when such a supplemental assignments require extra time and responsibility beyond the regularly expected, what's regularly expected of teachers, they may be rewarded with extra compensation. Okay. And um, we struck out a sentence that says, if a teacher will not be, ex if a teacher will not be extended the assignment for the file. Oh, okay. So if somebody is leaving in like June 30th, yeah. um, they. Uh, they won't for the school year, but will remain on the teaching staff. He or she will be notified in writing. Uh, prior. So if they want to do summer work. Mm -hmm. So upon termination of the assignment, the supplementary pay will cease. So if you leave in June, you could still work, such as we had a, a teacher last year in Deerfield that worked in the summer program, even though she gotcha. was done. Okay. So it's just a stipend. It's essentially a stipend then. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and a lot of these, we added the words um, pregnancy or pregnancy-related mm -hmm. conditions. That was it, just to really clear, make yep. it very clear on the difference. You know, we don't discriminate race, color, religion, national origin, sex, mm -hmm. gender, <clears throat> sexual orientation, age, genetic information, ancestry, military status, disability, pregnancy, or <coughs> pregnancy-related conditions. Okay. We took out the word uh, handicap and we made it disability, which is right. definitely the way to do it. Yep. Okay. All right, anyone have anything else on this? More next time? More, More next time, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm only struggling because every one of the policies I printed off today, none of them match this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. Those must be um, it's something Don sent one. today. Yeah, that's those are the ones we worked on last night. But if you want, I'll give you this pile. No, I, I can print at home. I, I, I'm fine. Okay. It's gone well. Looks like fun. You can stay as well. All right. Um, <laughs> reports. Uh, I don't have a report. Uh, Jan's not here, so principal's report. Great, good news. I have enough for all of them. <laughs> it's a lot of it's like three pages. So we have new clocks, which Ken discovered. Yes. Um, they're uh, set up to ensure that each and every clock <laughs> the building is set up exactly at the same time. That's I'm kind of giggling because I can see David struggling to read. <laughs> I know, it's like. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Um, kindergarten screening is happening this Friday for those new students. Great. Um, MCAS, great. we just finished ELA. We are working on science MCAS in fifth grade right now, and um, math MCAS will continue through May. Okay. Uh, we've had uh, some groups of DES teachers that have met with Sapphire Dijon and Michael Fidal. They're from the um, collaborative, and they're uh, we're beginning conversations around social justice mm -hmm. and, and creating a vision for an inclusionary school. And we're reaching out to families, to be, uh, offering an evening with Sapphire and Michael on May 9th at 6 to Great. begin the conversation about strengthening our inclusion practices. Uh, we have a school-based professional development team that's looked at some surveys and determined a focus topic for our school-based professional development next year. We're going to emphasize uh, social-emotional growth and um, supporting student behaviors. We're, we're, I'm still seeking some input around how we're going to do that and how we're going to tackle that. Um, the last two coffee connections for parents and guardians. This is not on here, so okay. <laughs> I know you can't see it, so don't <laughs> there. Um, have uh, included the school psychologist and um, our school adjustment counselor to answer questions and share resources about communicating with your children about school violence. Great. Um, screenagers. Yeah. We're going to be offering a show, uh, a family showing uh, on June 12th at 6. It'll run a little bit over an hour, and um, it's a documentary with unexpected funny stories and surprising insights from authors, psychologists, and brain scientists, revealing how tech time impacts kids' development and offers solutions on how adults can empower kids to best navigate the digital world and find balance. Great. And then on May 11th, we're going to have a reunification training. Uh, Trooper Carmichael will facilitate a training with a, it consists of a short PowerPoint, and then um, staff will walk through training. It will not involve students. Okay. So, yeah. And then we have a lot of classroom news. So in um, pre-K, Ms. Ryan's class is working with her tinkering buggy buddies, and they're um, creating a ge geography project, and they're building a model of South uh, Deerfield. So they've walked around, and they're going to be creating their own little models. Thank you. That's great. Um, and all the curriculum they'll be using for that is amazing. The STEM stuff is, the kids will love it. Great. The first grade classes have begun to study what makes bird a bird, and they're studying how birds use their bodies to build nests, and they'll be using their engineering skills to create a nest that can hold a model bird. Second grade has wrapped up their um, collaboration with Enchanted Circle with a great performance. Uh, so the teachers write it on here, and they said, despite recent illnesses that took hold of second oh, grade. I so right before that. break, there was one classroom that was down to about four students. So we're cool. yeah. on this kind of swept through. Yep. Um, all fourth grade classes ended the energy unit, um, which integrated reading, writing, and science by taking a trip to the Hitchcock Center's live building to compare an engineering project's water catchment roof systems to the real roof catchment systems at the center. And they also toured the building, kind of identifying several systems for their system thinking unit. Um, 
for a recently took a trip to Allison Walters AP European history class both, both had studied World War II and fourth graders shared their literacy essays and received some constructive feedback and they're taking that into consideration while they complete their final drafts. D5 has begun a reading, writing, and history integrated unit called Celebrate the Human Spirit. And students are reading biographies and researching African American heroes that have impacted our lives, and they're learning the human spirit is stronger than any anything that can happen to it, as they learn from um, perseverance of people such as Marian Anderson, Ruby Bridges, Jesse Owens, and Matthew Henson, and many more. Going to highlight, I'm going to let you guys struggle yeah. to read um, some of this, but I'll just highlight a little bit more. Sixth grade um, immigration unit has been integrating literacy, technology, social studies, and took a trip to Lowell Mills. They participated in a uh, simulation where they worked in the assembly line uh, where they produced heat cloths. Um, in the art studio, the tile project is just wrapped up, okay. and so everyone has created a tile, and Pamela Adorno is the visiting artist who led the project, and she's led it since its inception, which is pretty amazing. Making tiles forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bless you. Uh, and then we'll be filing, so firing the tiles over the coming weeks. The library students are immersed in the world of research, and you can read about all the different grades there. Um, in music class, they're experiencing Southern folk traditions. Uh, we, we, I think I spoke about this before. We did a second step over the Unite for Families in January. And um, you know, Spanish is underway. That some of the kindergarten classes are studying spring and flowers. And second graders have recently learned around about weather. So we're still pretty busy. That's great. Yeah. Great. The, um, oh, thank you. Do the Hitchcock people come here a fair amount too, or not? Yeah, yeah. back and forth. It's shared. They come in here and they go there. Okay. So they came in for the uh, science fair too, they right? They did some adapt adaptations with um, photography for a little bit. They did come from the science fair. They do a lot of professional development um, mm -hmm. training with our teachers as well. Mm -hmm. Good. That's a positive. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Anybody have any uh, questions? Tina? Yeah. Thank you, Tina. Sounds like a lot's going on. Sure is. Yeah. Yeah. Same time of year. Yeah. Yeah, sure is. Uh, superintendent's report? Thank you. Oh, wait. Hold on one sec. I'm sorry. Do we uh, want choice stuff and, and population of the school and anything we need to know or update on this? We sometimes get a number on the chart, not this month? Um, okay. No, I did have a chart in my. Uh, yeah, mine says hand delivered, but I don't. I didn't have any. Do you have any? Sorry. That's okay. I, I just wondered if there was any new. I mean, okay. I'm not fully yeah. really really support generally. Sorry. Your recommendation. I just wanted if this. We voted on recommendation last. We voted to be school choice and that you're going to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. But I just wondered whether. Or do we not get things back? Is that what you were looking for? Mm -hmm. um, no, you would. No. We had voted to participate in school choice and then review. What looks like? I opened up six slots in kindergarten and two in the going into second grade. And then those get advertised over the next few yeah. weeks or months, yeah. and then you know, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two in second grade. Two in second grade. Thank you. Okay. Great. Okay. Uh, I must be okay. stapled something on my agenda from work. Okay, um, thanks again. Uh, Superintendent's report? Great. Thank you. I, I would like to start tonight by telling you that I'm resigning on June 30th, and I want to thank you all for the opportunity to come here and be part of this community. It's been a wonderful experience. Thank you. I'm also passing out this, uh, this the policy committee asked me to pass this out so that we're all aware. It seems that we have specialized programs across the district, and it's kind of ambiguous if you're not really entrenched in the district to know about them. So I'd like to hand this out and see if you have any questions. But this is this is what we do across the district of which you have one. Okay. So th these are the programs we have across the district and um, that serve our students that have special needs. And this is a continuum of services, and they change depending on the needs of the students. So we were working on a policy that had to do with um, IEPs, 
uh, Section 504 of the Americans with Disabilities Act, IEPs, the Individual, um, the uh, Education uh, Disability Act for Students, IDEA, and I think part of the question was, what is it that we really do, and how do we figure out who goes to which program and how we make that decision? So uh, I worked with Karen Ferrandino and Kim uh, Kim McCarthy, and we came up with this. Uh, these are this is what we do. The number of the parentheses are about the number of students we serve. It comes and goes. For instance, we mm -hmm. might have a student that's in hospitalization for a number of months, and then we'll come back. Comes back. back. So yeah. It's pretty flexible. You can see that we have about four different areas of um, significant. Uh, support that we offer at the high school, at mm -hmm. uh, Frontier Regional Junior, uh, I'm sorry, Middle and High School. And then, um, with the, you know, with Deerfield and Sunderland, of course, the early childhood behavior, uh, the self-regulation we work on. Right. And then we do have in Deerfield uh, some, you know, a, a small, the children are included, um, in the general education environment with supports based on their abilities. Yes. But we do have some with significant physical disabilities, some that might be intellectually and or medically fragile. Okay. So those are the names they kind of go by, but we're really, you'll find out when the uh, SPED task force is done with their work that they'll come and they'll explain how we're trying to gradually include students uh, in the in the general population and, and, and utilize the different schools right so we may have a student in deerfield that may go to conway <coughs> or mm -hmm. sunderland and, and use that program instead of out of district right right and it it, it really uh it's it does save money and, and the fact that we don't have any out of district placement we do have out of school placement in, in a union, our district in a union 38 that's school, right but Yep. It, it's something to be very proud of. So yeah. the programs are excellent. And people are tuitioning their kids from all over. We have a student from Belchertown that goes all the way to Conway. <coughs> so. okay. Great. Well, that's a great rundown. Right. Yeah. 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 So that's all I have. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess um, on behalf of the committee, I, I guess I want to thank you for your service thank to you. our district for the past two years. I know. Um, these decisions aren't always easy, um, but I certainly wish you luck in your future you. endeavors. Um, I don't know as a formality whether you'd like us to vote to uh, accept your resignation. You it's it, you know, it's up to you. I think that in most, um, yeah, I think we have to. I think we'll just do it just because of the con because the contract and it's not yeah. quite the ninety exactly. days and all that stuff. I so, would so. definitely. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd make a motion to accept the resignation of. Dr. Carey, with regret. Second. Okay. okay. All in favor? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. All right. And we have no executive session. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess entertain a motion to adjourn at six thirty. Oh. Well, I might make one one note is yep. that. Keep your May calendars open for a potential joint committee meeting, given this news that we received tonight. Yeah, of course. So, um, so. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. And motion to adjourn. All right. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye